Hello, I'm Peter, VK1PE, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing with my new 2 meter 70 centimeter antenna that I'm going to build. I've just been and bought the bits. First, what am I building? Well, it's the experimental dual band high gain flower pot antenna from VK2ZOI and uh, this one is available on the net here's uh, the details VK2ZOI.com articles etc the RG58 cable and, uh, and then make it uh, so that it can be uh, threaded through the 25 millimeter PVC pipe. So I went to Bunnings and bought the PVC pipe and caps and 25 mil hardware which will eventually mean that it will hang off the mast. And I was at JCAR and bought 25 meters as it turned out because I need some for another project but uh, RG58 and a compression style BNC plug to RG58 and that will fit on the end of the cable once I've made it up to go back into the shack. So all told there's um, well it was uh, 50 something dollars at JCAR and it was another uh, $15 or something I think it was uh, or $17 at uh, Bunnings but I'll have some of that cable left over after it's all done. You'll notice, uh, you'll notice that uh, the antenna is made up as a 2 meter antenna and then it has the sleeves put around the outside and that turns it into a 70 centimeter antenna as well. Now it calls for just over two meters of this uh, pipe. I could buy it in three meter lengths and that'll be fine. As you can see from this design, it's two elements on two meters and then four elements on 70 centimeters. My father taught me to use the right tool for the job, hence this excellent workbench. So I'm wanting 930 mils to the first hole. So I've marked the first two holes at 930, a further 35 mil, and then 905 mil further and 45 mils beyond that for the hole distance. So four holes later and ready to go. Just to remove all doubt I made sure that I marked the top and the bottom. As uh, VK2ZOI suggested I used a six and a half mil uh, to uh, drill those holes and I checked it against the RG58 to make sure that yes it is larger. Just, but you can feel it. Well how am I going to get the, uh, uh, the coils in and out of those holes? Well, I've got to have a think about that. I have measured very carefully uh, both ends of the piece that I've got to take out of the middle of the coax. The most sensible way I think I can do this is to just cut one side of the coax off uh, the outer sheath and then peel it away. At least that's what I'm going to try to do. Well as it happened the outer sheath came off reasonably simply and uh, then just peels away. It leaves me with the, uh, the braiding to get off, which if I am careful should come off reasonably easily as well. This is actually going quite well. Uh, I've managed to get the uh, braid 
broken at both ends. Uh, I've managed to so just trim off the last little bits of the of the braid there, which uh, would otherwise stay on, and then bunched all the the, uh, the excess braiding so that I can now very carefully cut through that braid and get that off um, without disturbing the, uh, the inner uh, dielectric. So that's going to take a little while. I won't bore you with it. Uh, the other thing I will be doing is clearly marking here and at the other end so that uh, this doesn't move. I will also put some sticky tape on there so that uh, I can be sure that it's not going to move. I don't want the proportions or the distances of this uh, of the bits of uh, dielectric and so forth to be um, out of whack when I finally come to assembling the antenna. So I have now put some tape on the various parts of that to make it easier to um, go through the, the slots. So I've now put tape on the various parts so that it's easier to go through the uh, holes in the pipe. Now here is one of the tricks. If you are feeding it all from the one direction, from the bottom towards the top, then you have to form the nine turns even before it gets fed into the and uh, into the rod finally before this is fed into the um, the top of the antenna i've got to connect the the fixings so i've done a, a rolling hitch around the end of the uh, the antenna and then put tape on it. It's not going to uh, let go in a hurry. So this is how five turns have turned out and down here I've already masked up the other turns at the bottom. So I'm reasonably happy with that. I will put some of this tape around it before I later put uh, some thick um, heat shrink around it. It's been a while since I've used the uh, silicone, so the first thing I had to do was to dig the uh, piece out of the snout. I'll be putting this into the, um, the cap and then sealing the cap on and doing the same at the bottom and then making sure that there's a bit of goop around where the uh, cable comes out so that no little creatures go up there. My father always taught me to use the right tool for the job, so when I had to clean the tip up, I used the uh, dead leaf off a of rhubarb. So now having gooped that all up, I'm going to leave it here to dry in the, uh, in the afternoon air and uh, come back to it in a couple of hours. So the 70 centimetre <coughs> So the 70 centimetre um, foils are on, it's just kitchen foil held on by more of that and there are a couple of pieces of um, sh heat shrink which I've put around, there's the other one, and all good. By now the, the uh, silicone has actually gone off so it's uh, firmly on, not coming off anywhere. I did discover that I had to measure twice and cut once, as it were, for the, uh, the piece of foil and also the distance between it and the coil. So it is in essence finished and I now have a BNC crimp to put on the end of a cable and give it a test. So I think I'm finished. I bodged up a BNC connector on the end of the coax. Um, longer than I would expect to have the coax finally cut to when it's hung on the mast. I connected it to the BNC to SMA connector on the Baofeng. 
which is three, four, five watts, whatever it might be, um, and tested it on UHF and uh, that's 70 centimetres and two metres. Uh, got a repeater that I wouldn't have expected to get even with a proper antenna on this thing at that wattage and thank you to VK2ZOI for the, uh, the flower pot antenna. Thank you, I'm Peter VK1PE.